Do you suffer from the inability to walk or loss of limb? Are you a robot? <laughs> if any of these symptoms or characteristics apply to you, then artificial muscles might be the answer. The discovery of artificial muscles developed from electroactive polymers known as EAPs occurred around the end of the 19th century. When the late great Wilhelm Rogten connected a sim simple rubber band to opposing negative and positive currents, he noticed that the band underwent changes in volume and shape. This spurred the development of electronic EAPs. In the 50s, it was later found that collagen fibers dipped in acid or aqueous solutions would expand and contract. This essentially brought ionic means as a way to power EAPs. Similar to the famous rubber band experiment, dielectric elastomer actuators, or DEAs, employ a sheet made from silicone or a special VHB glue connected on top and bottom by two electrodes. When activated, the opposing charges cause the sheet to expand. Through this method, the metal can be manipulated and take take on different shapes. Current designs include spring roll actuators, which allow three directions of movement. This design is composed of elastomer sheets coated with electrodes and placed over a helical cord. Different voltages allow each part to be activated separately. Unfortunately, these devices require large amounts of electricity, which must be powered by bulky DC-DC converters, creating limitations for implantation. Thermally activated shape memory alloys work similar to the DEA. However, they rely on heat to undergo their transformations. This method was discovered by Chang and Reed when they noticed that alloys of gold and copper would return to an original remembered state after being physically deformed. The implementation of nickel titanium alloys, which have a remembered low and high temperature state, can be manipulated without external pressure. Contraction time can be quickened through rapid water cooling and boiling. However, this actuator is limited in its use as an artificial muscle because it is hard to properly manipulate the length of each contraction and the metal's ability to undergo transformation deteriorates over time. Possibly the sickest actuator is made from nanotube tech. Not only does this actuator rock because it moves like a muscle, it also works like a muscle. Within the nano-sized carbon tubes, power is stored like a fuel cell. Fuel is injected into the muscle in the form of highly potent boosts and then converted into chemical energy. This raw chemical force is transformed into electrical energy, which can be used to exert raw mechanical force, just like a kickflip. When energy isn't being used by one part of the muscle, it can be conserved for later use in other parts when things get gnarly! 360! Take it away, Arnold. Deep muscles are so powerful that they generate 100 times the power of regular muscles and contract at twice the speed. That's equivalent to eating my fist like one or two times. These EAPs are so easy to implant, it's scary, and it would be perfect for amputees, super evil robots, and things of that nature. More research must be done or else. California! Imagine a world with EAP technology. The manipulation of metals and nanotubes in such complex ways offers a new approach to movement. For so long, humankind has relied on wheels and crankshafts to propel us forward. EAPs allow a freedom of movement unparalleled in current devices. Possibilities include tiny dragonfly robots and replica koi, which can swim using DEA EAPs. EAPs have the potential to make problems related to severe muscle injury, amputation, and even paralysis a thing of the past. We can create robots that can display complex facial expressions while navigating freely through the human world. The only thing left to do is continue developing and researching these technologies so they can be perfected. Ooh, boing. Boom, shot. Weird. Boing. Why, that's weird. Ooh. Boing. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'd like to introduce you to the Thizzle Dance. Thizzle Dance? Thizzle Dance, I said. Mm. Can I do the Thizzle 